Well, there I was, and here I am now, working on another Grammy piece of equipment full of apples and goodness. Uh, I wanted to make a quick video today, and this is regarding uh, no drive in your Chevy or GM truck. If you got the 4L80, 6L80, uh, 6L90 in this case, but um, there's been a lot of issues where guys will hop in their truck, it's fine, and all of a sudden... You got, you got no drive. It's got reverse, though. No check engine light, even. Um, so what's the first thing you think? You think, ah, oh, shit, my transmission smoked. That's not the case. You guys need to look into this. I didn't get much of it on video uh, as far as, you know, the disassembly and everything. But um, it's, this is, it's, it's, a, it's a cakewalk. I mean, if you, uh, if you just take your time, pay attention. This, there's nothing to it. Um... So if you have this happen, your truck all of a sudden's got no drive before you take it to the dealer and get raped, you need to have them check it out or you just get under there, drop your pan, drop your valve body off and check this out. 2017, 2500 HD, Silverado, uh, four wheel drive, six liter in this one. It's in here because the guy says he just lost forward gears still had reverse though so I had to go up and uh, mess with it and he, he said he thought the transmission fluid smelt burnt I checked it it's still red it's not burnt <clears throat> so I pulled the um, pulled the uh, the ignition fuse for the trans and uh, put her into limp mode basically so I had third gear so that told me nothing wrong with the trans um, this is, a uh, this is probably one of those common issues. I haven't got it apart yet. I got it all. You now we're, we're staging here. I got some safety things because this is a heavy pig. And just, I just don't trust shit anymore. But, uh, yeah, we're getting ready to drop the pan on this. And I bet you the, the ball valve is stuck in this, uh, the separator plate in the valve body. So I got to pull the valve body on this. We'll clean it all out. And I got parts on the, on the way. The new um, overhaul kit, they call it, just comes with new eight check ball valves, check check balls, and the new uh, separator plate. So they just wear out on these. Uh, this one's got the 6L90 trans. If you guys are doing this or you just lost forward gears, hopefully this uh, helps you. It's not hard to do. You can do it laying in your driveway. You know, it's not a not a huge deal. If you can know how to change oil, you can you can do this. As long as you just take your time, pay attention. Don't lose it, lose any of the marbles or forget where they go. Oh, I'm not gonna climb up there right now. But if you guys don't know what trans your truck has, or you want to know other options, just check the RPO codes in there in the, inside the glove box. And these newer trucks, they got two glove boxes, so it's up in the upper one. Um, if you got an older truck, it's just in the glove box. I'll check that RPO code and then you just, you know, do a little search on the internet and tell you what exactly you got optioned out on your truck. Oh, it looks like that. 
Lucas added him, thinking something was that was gonna fix it. I don't know. Yeah. Not good. Got a little bit of crap build up. Well, I got the uh, valve body off and apart, camera tied. Got it uh, charged just enough here to show this. Just wanted to make sure I get this in video here so you guys can see. All right, so it's all separated apart. Here's the uh, separator plate, or divider plate, whatever you want to call it. Look at that. Can you pick, hopefully you guys can see that. Let me get a screwdriver right there. See that little ball? That thing's stuck in the separator plate. It's only plastic these are plastic balls so what happens is they wear out from just constant cycling that's what uh, transmissions are pretty complex if you ask me but that thing cycles so much it wears down it's only plastic stuck in there leaves you with no forward gears do not replace your transmission check this out first all right got the new service kit here there's the number you guys want it, it's what it is. <clears throat> I think it's good for the 6L80E and 6L90. Um, and this is an upgrade too, you can do it. Apparently this that's what the eighth check valve was for, is uh, to stop the hard shift, or down shift, to first gear, slowing down. But there they are, all the new bell, or balls, and then the new uh, separator plate. So, we'll throw that on, and and bolt her all back together or stick it back up there and I got a uh, Wix filter I love that because it comes with a gasket and this Wix is just awesome uh, you guys want that number freak there and then some ATF it's not that what it says on the box it's ATF this is what I run the wolf's head you gotta get the Dextron 6, or whatever number that is. But, yep, yeah, let's get her done. So hopefully, that video helps some of you guys who find yourself in that predicament of no drive. Um, I was having camera issues, battery dying, and uh, kept falling over and stuff, and I just wanted to get that job done, but uh, also wanted to inform some people at the same time, so I did what I could, but I left out some of the more technical stuff, I guess, um, like the plug on the back of the, for the TCM goes through the bell housing, um, there's just a special clip on it, you just want to make sure you don't mess that up and unplug it gently, get that out of the way. And then I, uh, I'd recommend taking a picture. Once you get the pan off, take a picture of where all the bolts are. And also, I guess I forgot to mention the price. You know, you just, you can't go wrong with this price. If you can do this yourself. Um, I did it minus my time. Uh, it cost me 114 bucks. And that was mainly, it was $100 for the, for 12 quarts of oil. Didn't need it all, but. Um, and the uh, filter. Filter was 50 bucks for the transmission filter. But that came with the gasket and the new o-ring for the filter neck um and then that uh, surface part right from gm right from the chevy dealer was only 14 dollars 